A raise is on the way for thousands of workers in Washington State. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And I'm Kalai Chalk. Nadine has the night off. Sunday, Washington's minimum wage goes up from $8.67 an hour to $9.04 an hour. That's the highest state minimum wage in the country and nearly $2 more than the federal minimum wage of $7.25. KXLY 4's Anusha Roy is live tonight with how local businesses are dealing with the change. Well, we talked to several local businesses here and they think that with minimum wages going up, it could take a chunk out of their profits and that it'll definitely add up. There wasn't a second to spare at Perry Street Cafe today as the lunch hour brought in waves of customers. At a mom and pop restaurant, there's always a laundry list of things to do, including how to deal with the minimum wage going up. You work harder. <laughs> you do. You work, uh, you, you rearrange your schedule down to a minimum. I mean, not that it isn't already with the economy. Minimum wage goes up to $9.04 Sunday. It could take around 150 bucks a week out of Perry Street Cafe's profits. The owner could also have to reduce hours for workers. You've got wait staff, dish staff, bus boys, hostesses. Nearby at Liberty Park Florist, the ripple effect of wages going up could affect product prices. They hire seasonal minimum wage workers to help around the store and greenhouse. Typically, we'll go through our, you know, our prices and look and see where we are competitive to, you know, everyone else and try to catch a little bit there to make up for something like that. On the flip side, a 37 cent raise means a lot for those on the receiving end. For Sierra Kepin, who works at the IMAX, she's just trying to make sure she has the money for her college education. It's going to definitely help out, especially for paying for college, and my parents are actually making me start pay rent soon. While it may be tough for some businesses, every cent counts for those just waiting for New Year's Day to roll around. Some of those businesses that they will deal with the rise, but that it does have a compound effect financially for their business. Live in Spokane, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.